Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today it gets hairy at Coach Retail with their brand new hair calf animal print collections featuring leopard hair calf and zebra hair calf. Come on guys, wait up! Oh dang, I got honey all over my legs! But before we hop into today's Coach Retail Shop With Me trip, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, coach, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that ever-changing, ever-growing YouTube Al Go Rhythm Huh, he's a soldier He does not look like a soldier Now y'all know what time it is It's time to hop into today's Coach Retail Hair Calf Shop with me Today, it's gonna get hairy Fuzzy and soft First up is the Bandit Shoulder Bag In Hair Calf with leopard print. Very, very stunning. I'm very excited about this collection. I've known about it for like about a couple weeks now and uh, I don't know, I just really love hair calf and animal print. I know it's not for everybody, but this is definitely uh, one of my personal favorite collections of the year so far. Everything about the bag felt nice, high quality it felt like really luxurious leather and hair calf used nothing about it felt cheap and the price tag reflects that 790 dollars 790 that's pretty dang expensive for a bandit shoulder bag but then again it is hair calf and the leather is very beautiful just pop her open get a nice look on the inside a shame that troglodytes have scratched the poor thing. Girl. Like, I get it's, like, the the showcase bag, but, like, come on, you couldn't, like, be respectful. Got the coach patch on the inside flap. Beautiful brown leather on the inside. Nothing to clock. I actually kind of felt like the leather was, like, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Felt a bit above average. Just a bit. And it has its typical little uh, crossbody and shoulder bag convertible strap. Just slide it through the top hoops. And the clasp is beautiful as well. Quickly hoop it in and then try on the bag in the mirror. It looks stunning. It looks so good, you guys. Like, it, this this shop with me was really painful because I love, love, love these bags. Coach hasn't uh, been creating a lot of collections that have been really to my personal liking, but this collection is really hitting home with me. Next up is the Bandit Crossbody with hair calf. $480 Canadian plus tax. So a pretty good decrease in price compared to the shoulder bag. So the shoulder bag $790 and then the crossbody is $480. That's a pretty good $310 difference. I was thinking they were going to do like $550 or something. But that's a respectable price in my opinion. And the bag is just beautiful. I know the Bandit crossbody is significantly smaller than the shoulder bag, but I, I, I really like it. 
And no, the chain strap does not come with this. That is an additional chain that was added by the coach sales associates. So that extra chain is $150 Canadian. Looks really good with the bag though. Not gonna lie. Excellent pairing. Absolutely excellent. I don't know. I think I like the shoulder bag a little bit better though. I think it has, it carries the print a lot better. Next up is the Rogue in hair calf with leopard print. It would have been really cool if they had the hang tags have hair calf on the front half and then on the back just be leather because that would have been a really nice touch. And the hair calf is absolutely smooth and beautiful. Ah, no complaints. Very beautiful hair calf. Sometimes hair calf can feel a little straw-like, but I felt like this one was very, very plush. Beautiful interior to the Rogue. As you'll notice that, like, all of the bags kind of, like, share the same materials. $1,160 Canadian. Got multiple pouches on the inside. Very beautiful. Get a nice view. Make sure you get all the angles. <laughs> Nothing to really clock about the bag. I just think it's so beautiful. I could actually gush about this collection for a while. <laughs> When I was in store, I was carrying around one of the bandit shoulder bags and I was just petting it the entire time. I was like, you know, while I'm in the store, I can pretend like I own this. <laughs> Nothing really different, comparatively speaking, amongst the rogues. Just a beautiful, beautiful bag, in my opinion. And I actually thought that the leather or, uh, Sorry, I actually thought that the bag itself would be a little bit more expensive. I feel like they've been adjusting the Rogue prices to be a little lower recently. I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticed that, or maybe I'm just, like, seeing things, but I've noticed that the Rogues have kind of, like, lowered in price point. I don't know if that's because they're not selling as much, but work. <laughs> Same great quality, slightly lower price point. I'm happy with it. I love the bandit though. Mm. But let's swing on over to the zebra print. The bandit shoulder bag in hair calf with zebra print. This is probably my favorite. I feel like the zebra print's my favorite. We do know I have my fair share of hair calf bags in leopard so i think if i were to be able to get one of these it would have to be the zebra print 790 dollars. so there's no real price there, there is no price increase or decrease same price all around looks very beautiful it's not too often where you see like a beautiful zebra print done so i'm very excited about the zebra Luckily for me, not a lot of people like hair calf, nor zebra, so I might be able to get this on discount eventually. Hopefully. I'm praying. <laughs> Beautiful clip as well. Next to it, though, is the Rogue. The Rogue 12 in hair calf with zebra print. Very beautiful. Though, I, I'll say the hang tag is kind of uh, a little jank. A little wonky, if you will. $270 Canadian. So you'll notice that online, these are actually $310. So I'm not sure if it's just my particular store had them at like $40 cheaper. But if you are looking to buy one of these, do check in with your closest retailer. And I'll... I'll say off the bat that the mini rogues, the rogue 12s, I think they're called, 
the quality on them isn't as high as like the actual rogues. Like the leather on the inside doesn't feel as nice. It doesn't feel as plush. Kind of feels a little on the fake leather side or maybe just like really cheap leather. Like I get it. It's a little bag charm, but still. It would be nice to have like that extra oomph in quality. Next to it though is the Rogue 20 in hair calf with zebra print. Probably my second choice in the zebra print bags. I think it carries the print very well. It's very in your face, but it's also very subtle. If hair calf is even subtle. <laughs> I'm just digging it. I really, really like it. Leather felt beautiful in the bag. Comes with a few different straps. So it has the top handles, it has the shoulder bag straps, and then there's also a cross body strap on the inside. So there's technically three ways to wear this bag. Very cool. So technically, it comes with three straps. Two shoulder bag straps and a crossbody. Love it. And for $730, like, that's actually really cheap. That's what I mean. Like, the Bandit shoulder bag is now more expensive than the Rogue 20. That, to me, is just shocking. $730 Canadian complete price difference than the ba the bandit i would think that the rogue has more thought and more materials put into it than the bandit but i'm thinking maybe because the bandit is like a full a leather bag experience that's what's making it so different because we got the jacquard on the inside of the rogue rather than it being fully leather but still but still, I still feel like that's a little cheap for the Rogue. I expected this to be like eight fifty or something. You know what I mean? Beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. If I were to choose the zebra print, I'm probably going with the Bandit, though, only because you can fit a long wallet in it. You cannot fit a long wallet in the Rogue 20, unfortunately. I tried in store and it just does not fit. There's the like little mini Rogue 12 in the leopard hair. And then here is the Swinger 20 with zebra print in leather. So yes, there is also a leather print. Not hair calf, leather print. So it's a bit different. $340 Canadian. I'm not going to lie, I definitely prefer the hair calf. The hair calf is 10 times better, way more luxurious feeling, and way a better bag for buck, in my personal opinion. But I know that most people don't like hair calf, so this would be an excellent uh, alternative to the zebra print. Or leopard, because it also comes in leopard, I think. I know some people... I know some pieces come in the leopard print with leather, but not all of them. Got the zipper card case, the ID zipper card case. $120 Canadian. Not horrible. Has a clip on the inside for your keys or whatever your heart desires, really. I don't like the leather used too much. Like, I feel like it could have been a little thicker, but that's just a personal gripe. And there's the leopard print. They had more zebra print than the leopard. But in the leopard hair calf, they had more leopard. $430 for the Willow Tote 24. The Willow 24 in zebra. Zebra. Zebro. Zebra. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I wonder what kind of leather they used. 
and if it's like um painted over because it would be interesting to see how this bag were to hold up particularly like i know how hair calf holds up like if you're if you're nice and easy with your hair calf, your hair calf will last you a lifetime. But it also, like, if you're not careful, it will literally fall out and it'll bald. So I'm curious to see how the actual leather itself holds up. Because obviously it's not, like, dyed like a gloved hand leather is. So I'm very curious. So, like, if you, like, scratched it up, is it going to be, you know, like a paint? Very beautiful, though. Not my cup of tea, personally, but it is cute. And somebody out there, it's their favorite bag. And I love that for them. And then we're going to close off by looking at the final piece in today's Shop With Me. Zebra Bag Strap. Just like an additional bag strap. These are $150, I believe, Canadian. There was no price tag on this one particularly, but I did look online. Not bad. Seems like a decent piece. There can be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety nine, ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Coach Retail Shop With Me trip for the latest collection. That happens to be one of my favorites of the year, because girl, this hair cap is sickening. The leopard, the zebra, if I didn't already have two to three different leopard hair cap bags, I would definitely be thirsting over the bandit. But anyways, what are your thoughts and opinions on today's zebra and leopard hair calf prints? And if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new, hit that like button, share with your friends and family, come to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day, or shop with me trip to coach retail. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! I think it was good. I don't, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch.